Hey everyone, here's a recap of the Midjourney office hours from August 16th. They are working on infrastructure because their database has been overwhelmed recently and they've had a bit of an outage this past week. He said they're trying to invest in it more so it's not a problem, but something as big as Midjourney, it's hard to avoid problems. And some pictures are missing from the beginning of April, but that was done manually and they will put them back in the system soon. David said they're trying to make the database work with the new website so people with thousands Thousands of images will load and search instantly. They're also working on better ways of exploring community made images and he said they have good initial results and hopefully that will get into the next version of the website. They're also trying to release in painting this week. It might not come with the aesthetic update. He would like to do both but needs to spend more time with it. I think if it's just in painting it'll stay as version 5.2 and he said that if the aesthetics also become improved they will probably call it 5.3. And what Whatever this update is might also be more accurate to your text prompts. Don't quote me on that though. And for the record, he said he isn't totally happy with in painting. David said it looks good on other platforms, but you often only see the good results and that people wouldn't show all the errors and problems with it. And personally, I get the sense that if a feature isn't near perfect, David doesn't seem to be very interested in it. Kind of like how text to video is right now. It's not very good, so mid journey doesn't seem concerned with it. He did say that making it so everyone can use image prompts easily is more important than other features like panning. So what would you want? Having the core experience better or more advanced features? He said it's hard to allocate resources and trying to do a bit of everything rather than staying focused on one thing is a strategy choice and it doesn't seem like he's a fan of that but that's what they're trying for now. David did say that version 6 is behind. It's not up to the standard or maybe advancement he was hoping for for. They might wait till all the features are ready or set a date and release whatever they have at that time because they're still trying to make prompt understanding better and they feel like that's what's most important to the majority of the user base. Maybe you agree with that. And again, I don't really know anything, but it seems like a real internal struggle, not necessarily between the team, but the philosophy of focusing on more accurate prompting versus a better visual interface. And as far as developing these kind of features, he says that the best researcher might might be right between 10 and 30 percent of the time and it takes like a week to experiment so when you pile up the successes it looks good but it takes a long time and you never really know what is actually going to work shipping a complete version also takes a couple of weeks and it's a lot of effort for their team so they would rather ship big releases rather than just small improvements he did randomly say that 3d is working better and video is getting better he sounded optimistic but admits there's no way to predict an exact time Line. Then he talked a little bit more about demographic stuff, as in the difference between preferences of users, noting that the biggest differences are age and gender, young versus old, men versus women, but geography is noticeable too. He said Japan is different than other countries, and you can tell the difference between, say, Germany and the UK. So what should they do with that information? He wants Midjourney to produce bigger batches with more variety, and I personally hope they don't have individually tuned Midjourney aesthetics. I like it when everyone plays the same game and we all know the rules. Like I don't want the algorithm to create images for me because it knows I'm a guy from Canada. You know what I mean? But they had talked previously about having your own style code and I think that could be amazing. I just hope it's not made from grouping people together. I also got to ask a question. I asked if there was ever going to be a jump like we saw from version 3 to version 4 and he said yeah there is another big jump but he isn't sure when. Not version 6. Maybe version version 7? Who knows? If you're a fan of the art in this video, here's the prompt. It's your subject, as envisioned by Eves Tangai, Ellsworth Kelly, and Nicholas Poulsen. I apologize if I pronounced any of those incorrectly, and you should know I use Stylized 400 and Chaos 20 for these images. And if you want a better view of some of my pictures, you can follow me on Instagram, at Future Tech Pilot. I'll say don't forget to check out my podcast. I really enjoy making it. I'd love to hear some comments from you if you have anything you'd like me to discuss on the next episode. I'll leave a form in the description of this video for that. There's your recap of the Mid Journey Office Hours. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time.